Tonight, Will Rogers High School is kicking off its 75th anniversary with tours of its historic building. Will Rogers College Junior and Senior High School is an Art Deco marvel from the late 1930s. Two major updates, both before 1965, expanded the school into what it looks like today. A beautiful building that was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2007. Well, here's what I want you to spend the next couple of minutes doing. Like most great historic buildings, Will Rogers has seen triumphs and tragedies. In 1964 and in his 23rd year teaching music, band director Carl Barnett suffered a heart attack on stage in the Will Rogers Auditorium during a performance of Bach's Come Sweet Death. His sad death led to a scholarship fund for students and to decades of alleged ghostly sightings. There he goes. Wow. In and around the auditorium. What keeps you here? By students and custodians staying late. It could be nothing, but it could be something. Enter the Oklahoma Ghost Chasers. People that uh, work here claim they see an apparition on the stage. Seeing anything historical that's, that's uh, close to 100 years old. I enjoy that part of it. The ghostly story so well known, a nondescript post to the group's Facebook page instantly alerted some people to the project. Without even naming the school, people knew. Founding members Chris Cameron and Mike Davis deploy a wide array of cameras. It sees the full range of light. And audio equipment. We may get some voices, we may get some answers to our questions that we couldn't hear during the investigation. In their attempt to investigate the stories, the group switched on laser grid cameras and powered on high-tech audio gear. Then... Turn all the lights out and then let the rooms get quiet. After about 45 minutes, the chasers begin the investigation. The first stop is the auditorium, the place Mr. Barnett suffered his heart attack and the most popular room for ghost stories. We know that Mr. Barnett passed away, had a heart attack there during a performance, so he'll be the one we'll be asking questions to at first. It's what we call an EVP session, which is electronic voice phenomena. Chris Cameron is also carrying an SLS Connect camera. It'll map out a person standing there and you can tell, but then occasionally when there's no one there, you'll get a stick figure show up out of nowhere. The team spreads out in the auditorium. Down There's some kind of light way. in there. But it, I see it, I keep seeing a shadow. Can you make a noise or? No audible response, but then the SLS camera catches something odd interacting with one of the team members sitting front row. It'll pop up over here in a second. Down, here it comes. Now watch it slide down and it'll sit in the chair next to her and then it'll start playing with her hair in a minute. It almost looks like she's, it's brushing her hair. Yeah. Look at that, that is oh, weird. And then it'll disappear here in just a minute. Even more hair raising, while the team was reviewing the SLS footage in the auditorium, a voice is captured on one of the recorders, a voice not coming from one of the team members. Is it the voice of a spirit trying to interact with the team? But because the voice wasn't noticed until the post-investigation review, the team decides to depart the auditorium. We're going to leave the room and heads to the basement. Checking cameras that have been recording storage rooms where custodians have reported unusual experiences. We're going to go to the hallway. Team members then visit the band room located underneath the stage. Did you used to teach in this classroom? Right here in front of me I got two devices. One has got a green color to it, the other one's a reddish color. You can get near those, it lets us know that you're here with us. Again, silence. The team then heads towards a Roper's legend. You know there was a lady on our Facebook post that told us to go in here. An equipment room known as the cave. Down here is where I got that feeling earlier, H. Okay, should we go up that way a little bit? I'm telling you. The rest of the team joins Mike in the basement. Chris Cameron deploys the SLS camera. Well, the basement was really interesting. I'd been through the whole thing, everybody was down there, and really wasn't seeing anything. Went down the end of the hallway and turned around and come back, and just as we were coming back, or I was coming back where everybody was standing around talking, 
uh, we had a stick figure come up out of the floor off right along the wall line and kind of stand there and look at everybody for a minute. Watch again as the camera seems to indicate it's tracking a person coming out of the floor and disappearing. We all saw that. It's just, it's what it looked like. Right. Don't know how to explain it. That was the last noticed interaction of the night. We've had two unexplained situations with it. Don't know what to say about it other than I know what it looked like it was doing. With hours of recordings to check, the team decides to end the investigation. We've got all this camera footage to go over. We've got digital recordings to go over. They're leaving Rogers in awe of the school's beauty. The building's beautiful, so there's a lot of history. Here. And excited by their search, gaining a new respect for a beloved band director. I didn't get anything here that I would be like malevolent. Nothing to worry about. If everything's cool, there's nothing in here that we felt it was bad or malevolent or nothing like that. And for a special historical place we call home.